Tonight at 11, a mother is speaking out after a video of her son popping his head out of the trunk of her car goes viral and ultimately lands her behind bars. Now, many online assume the mother put her child in the trunk, but this mother says that's not the case. 11 Alive's Cody Alcorn live for us tonight with her side of the story. Now, Cody, you say that this whole thing started from a social media post, right? Ron and Jennifer, that's exactly right. A driver actually recorded it on their phone. Then someone who saw it on social media called Gwinnett County Police. They tell us they used flock cameras like this to track the woman down. I'm just here to clear my name. This is Diana Schaefer. I'm the founder of Hanging On to Positive Expectations. On Saturday, when this video was taken, Schaefer says she was picking up a donation for her nonprofit. So I collect a lot of baby supplies and I give them to the community free of charge. Schaefer says the bassinet you see in the trunk was supposed to be taken apart. Because it's obvious a bassinet of that size wouldn't fit in my car. So now that you have the background, let's address this for second video. When he looked up, he looked dead into the lady camera. <laughs> it looked like he knew what was going on. I watched it and I read a lot of the comments. Schaefer says she did not put her son in the trunk. The seats uh, were let down. He was supposed to be sitting on top of it. She says he had one job. Hold the basket legs. However, as this video shows. This is what I got. It's him holding his head up like a little weasel, and that's what he did. And like I said, if I would have never knew that lady was recording, I would have never knew that that was what was going on. And Schaefer would not have been locked up. I would never go back to jail again. Despite the bashing she received on social media. My intentions were pure. That's why I wanted to take full accountability for my actions because at the end of the day, it could have been a situation where maybe I could have left the basket there since it wasn't broke down and came back for it. Schaefer is charged with reckless conduct and a seatbelt violation. And she said, look, there was a lesson learned here. She says, looking back, this will never happen again. I'm, I'm sure it's not going to happen again, or hopefully it doesn't. All right.